Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. That's Diamond Dave Damone. This is the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight we are taking a look at Jordan Peele's first big hit, Get Out. Now you'll have to excuse us. We maybe did it a little bit out of order. We already watched Us, but this is a first time view for me of Get Out. And if it's anything nearly as good as Us, I'm going to be blown away. I'm super excited for this. Uh, Jordan Peele just seems to be delivering on everything yeah first time viewing for me too but we saw us and he got he was able to do that because of get out so once again i only really knew him from key and peel <laughs> and his short little stint on mad tv and then you smartened me up about uh twilight zone and that he was venturing off into some other projects so i am definitely ready willing and able to watch get out you guys encourage him with that you know that <laughs> thank you First time watch for me as well. The only thing I know about this is the trailer. I had to, I had to go and check out the trailer as soon as I, oh, uh, this course. was uh, on the uh, docket. I had to get a little bit of a glimpse to see what was going to go on. I heard great things about pretty much all of Jordan Peele's movies so far. So I guess they're, I'm going in with a slight expectation of I think it should be good. Uh, and a lot of you said it was great too. Yeah, I mean, so that expectation's yeah, that, there too. That helps. Yeah, it, it had a ton of <laughs> hype. So I mean, I can't imagine we're going to be disappointed. I mean, neither. Now, with that being said, let's go! Oh, that's right. He does it. Creepy suburb. <laughs> Some of them are. I think it's a left on uh, Peacock. Oh, it's never good. Is that a late model? It's a Porsche. Porsche? Yeah, That's I was going to say that the it's flip up lights. Yeah, it's the 944. It's the ugly one, I think. Do nothing stupid. You just keep going in. But I'll do it back. Exactly. <laughs> now just start a slight jog. Yo. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, man. What? Yo, I don't think a Porsche 944 is ideal for kidnapping. <laughs> Thinking a van would probably be better. Yeah, that's a this is a little more inconspicuous. Like, the, the whole trunk's exposed with the window. <laughs> Your exposure. I mean, look at all the lights. <laughs> it's like daylight out there. Ah, uh, they're all used to it in that neighborhood. They're all like, "Yeah, it's all right." That's a hell of a start. That's a uh, hell of a trunk size to get him in there yeah. too. Oh, I like the violins. Just the... It's like uh, this This note for violins is mm. always like the creepy note. Yes, 100%. <laughs> How's it going over there? Good. You got your toothbrush? Check. You have your cozy clothes? Got that. He seems thrilled. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, they know I'm, do they know I'm black? Should they? It seems like something you might wanna, you know. Mom and Dad, my uh, my the black boyfriend will be coming up this weekend, and I just don't want you to be shocked. You said I was the first black guy you ever dated. Yeah, so what? You know, I don't want to get chased off the lawn with a shotgun. <laughs> I'm not going to. First of all, my dad would have voted for Obama a third time if he could have. I'm only telling you that because he's definitely gonna want to talk to you about that because he's a lame dad more than anything else. Hold on, I gotta call Rod. Oh, Rod. Don't don't do that. Hey, little Rod. <laughs> Tell me this, okay? How can I get in trouble for patting down an old lady? It's standard procedure. <laughs> TSA. I'm serious, man. The next 9-11 is going to be on some geriatric shit. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, no, I accept your apology. It's all good. Hi, Rod. Look at you know you picked the wrong guy, right? Okay, get your own girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so jealous. Jealous it's Rod. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> was that a turkey? Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, if I had water, I'd probably just be sick. <laughs> not because of like I was scared, but it was like, what the hell was that? <clears throat> oh, it is a deer. Okay. That's a few grand. Well, maybe he's gone, you know. Didn't look like a deer though. It looks no. It, it looked like a, uh, well, like a flying a, puppy. Or yeah, I thought <laughs> it, was so, it was so quick. Yeah, I thought it was like a turkey or something. What was that look? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's a, photo- uh, he's a photographer, so I don't know if that's... Sir, can I see your license, please? Wait, why? Yeah, I have state ID. No, no, no. He wasn't driving. Fuck that. You don't have to give him your ID because you haven't done anything wrong. Anytime there is an incident, we have every right to that's ask... That's bullshit. Get that headlight fixed. And that mirror. And the taillight. <laughs> Tail- <laughs> oh, what is this, walking tall? <laughs> Oh, that's how bar fights start. <laughs> Every time. You you want to fight? <laughs> I mean, I can see why you'd be intimidated. Look at that house. You're driving up there in the Lincoln. That's, well, he it, knew that they were... It's an entry model, Lincoln. Oh, <laughs> wow. I mean, no, oh, now there's, there's a focus on him now. Yep, and the music. I mean, that's how I always greet you guys at the door of the studio. You know, we sit there, we hug for five minutes, and then you come in. Yeah. All right, you guys look so wiped out. Yeah. How long? <laughs> Four months. Four months? Mm. Uh, five months. She's right. I'm wrong. Attaboy. Better get used to saying that. <laughs> <laughs> God, he's great and everything. <laughs> this is Jeremy. This is Rose's little brother. There he is. I'm studying medicine now. He wants to be just like his old man. My, my dad's claim to fame was beat by Jesse Owens in the qualifying round for the Berlin Olympics. Tough break for your dad, though. Yeah. He almost got over it. It's funnier when Bill Burr tells the story. <laughs> Georgina, this is Chris. This is Rose's boyfriend. Hello. <laughs> that was... Too calm. Yeah. yeah. Just. And just a gigantic smile. Yeah, it looks like she's a Stepford wife or something. The field of play. I love it. I'm, the nearest house is like across the lake. Total privacy. Man, that was giving him the eye. So like the closest thing is a house that's across the lake. Yeah. White family, black servants. It's a, total cliche. I wasn't going to take you there. Well, you didn't have to, believe me. Dad wasn't really in the picture. My mom passed away when I was like 11. Oh, I'm sorry. How did she die? Uh, Hit and run. Well, that's okay. We don't have to talk about that. That's okay. We're (laughs) not judging. It's a nasty habit, though. (laughs) (laughs) No judgment. Oh, that's right. She's a therapist. She developed a method, and I'm telling you, it works like a charm. My dad would throw a shindig yeah. once a year, get all his friends together, bocce ball, badminton. They do these. Do you, are you guys noticing those quick little zoom ins? Yep. And they're showing his eyes move around and what he's looking at and noticing. We keep them close to oh. us. Yeah, oh, she's oh. not stopping. Is she going to spill it? Oh. oh, what was she listening to or hearing? Why don't you go lay down? Just get some rest. Yes. Your face must be sore from smiling all the time. Hi, darling. Hi. Oh, so this is the brother, huh? Yeah. She used to bite him off, suck on him, and save him in a jewelry box. Rose has a crush on this guy, Connor Garfield. No. Connor Garfield? No. Mom? <laughs> no, I know. Jeremy, stop. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Curious. Okay. So, I'm upstairs. You realize you're coming off as like the world's biggest douchebag right now, right? Me screaming your sister bit my fucking tongue off, right? You what? bit it. Okay, okay. To be fair, it was my first kiss. I've never heard Who of that. Who shares before. these guys' stories? <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's dating my sister. You had your chance. I can't get to know the guy. Wow. Dude, <laughs> what? Did you ever get in street fights as a kid? I did judo after school, first grade. <laughs> judo. This dude has a very punchable face right now, you know that? Well, why does he have such a different accent than the parents? And I mean, really trained, you know? No pussyfooting around, you'd be a fucking beast. Is he on drugs? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Dude, if somebody's talking to me like so. that at the dinner table, I'm like, what's wrong with you? Stand, stand, stand up. Jeremy, uh... Yo, I got a rule. No, no, no play fight. I'm drunk, dude. I don't play. I'm just going to... Jeremy. Oh, so they've been drinking. Yeah, okay. he's all gassed up. I wasn't going to hurt him. You were 
you're gonna put you in a fucking headlock. What is his problem? He's never treated any of my boyfriends that way. Ever, ever, ever. <laughs> He's like, you didn't even warn me? Yeah. <laughs> At all? I mean, how are they different than that cop? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anything, anything more you'd like to add? <laughs> come here, come here. Come here. I'm sorry, this sucks. What? Why are you saying sorry? Why are you so calm? Honestly, it's nothing. Something's gotta happen to the daughter. Really, like, I feel like something's gonna happen to the daughter because she's super nice, you know, yeah. she's embarrassed by the family. I mean, I could be really wrong, but I just it, feel like something's it, gonna happen to the daughter like yeah. accidentally. She she's really pushing the issue way more than he is though. He's just yeah. like they're they're just weird, you know. She's oh. <laughs> of, course. <laughs> hey, of course. Who doesn't have a secret door? <laughs> oh, oh, he's gonna sneak out and have a smoke. Oh, you think he's gonna set the alarm off? I'm well, the thinking the brother's system. gonna be up. He would just go right out the front door, especially with that alarm. He's going to go out like a side door or something, wouldn't he? Oh, oh that stupid ah, music. Ah, it just, God. <laughs> oh, every time. Okay, well, I guess it wasn't the alarm system. I think they're showing that for a reason. Uh, what whoa, the hell is this? Uh, what? <laughs> what the what hell is, is he going to attack him? Oh, Whoa. Jesus. What? Dude, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm friggin' out of here. Oh, she doesn't even see him. Dude, what was that dude run? Why was the gardener running at him? Like and that. Then, and then, like, who runs like that other than Steven Seagal? <laughs> that was like a full-on football sprint. Mm -hmm. I thought he was going to tackle him. Dude, I would have been running the other way, not just standing to see what was going to happen. <laughs> oh, Do that was creepy. How dangerous smoking is. Come in and sit with me. Please, just for a little while. Uh, I think I'm going to pass. Yeah. I saw a lot of weird uh, yeah. shit in the last two minutes. Dude, plus, he just got done shagging their daughter in the house. <laughs> so you're comfortable enough, right? It's perfect. Thanks. You want to know how it works? No. <laughs> you just dangle a pocket watch in front of people's faces. Is that it? <laughs> you watch a lot of TV. <laughs> We do use focal points sometimes to guide someone into a state of heightened suggestibility. She's stirring the shit out of that cup. Yeah. Like Is that what she's referring to? What about your mother? What about she her? told you already. Wait, are we... Where were you when she died? I don't want to think about that. Okay, so they are, because I was yeah. like, God, this is getting annoying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Watching TV. Do you hear the TV? Rain. Rain, it was raining. You hear the rain? You hear it? Find it. Tell me when you found it. What is going on? Oh. She, is, is that like her tapping into the memory of him? Well, not like telepathically, but like getting to him to yeah, say Yeah, he's bringing it out. What did you do? <laughs> no way this would ever work on me. I'm ready to break that stupid cup. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't call anyone? No. Why not? Oh, if I did, Boy, make it real. You're so scared. Oof. You think it was your fault? I can't move. I can't move. You're paralyzed. Just like that day when you did nothing. You did nothing. What the hell is going on here? Sink into the floor. Wait, 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 wait. Sink. Whoa. Okay. Oh. So she's on a TV. Like when he was a kid. Well, this is interesting. Is he dreaming all this? No, nah, it's just all his subconscious, I think. You know, she's deep into his head. Oh, I get it. Like, okay, so we're, he's paralyzed, he can't move, but inside. Ah, mm -hmm. got it. <clears throat> now you're in the sunken place. Dude, this is wild. <sighs> was it or, a dream? Or I don't know. I don't think it was. He's got all his clothes on. That's right. <laughs> Sid got drunk. He's not going to mention to his girl. 
Well, About maybe the, he the guy got dressed running? quick and oh, went out and took out took some of these picks. But yeah, I was kind of thinking that too. Like, okay. you're not going to talk to her about this like weird ass experience you just had. Hmm. The gardener running around. As, well, as far as that would be my as first. As far as he thinks, this is a dream yet. Well, no, he was fully. He was. He had party time. Yeah, but he doesn't. He doesn't know whether it was real or not. Mm. I'd be going over there and be like, "Hey, man, uh, I'm just kind of curious so, why you were running at me like a linebacker last yeah. night." What's up, man? You're working you good out here, huh? Look at these stairs. Yeah, he's like a robot or something. Nothing I don't want to be doing. I'm Chris. I know who you are. <laughs> oh. Sorry about last night. What? My exercise. I didn't mean to scare you. You were in Mrs. Armitage's office for quite some time. Okay, now it's all starting to come together. I should get back to work and mind my own business. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who says that? <laughs> this guy's delivery. It's just crazy. I was really hoping that maybe he'd uh, give some more insight or yeah. something. Something. Yeah, some kind of nugget of information. <laughs> I think your mom hypnotized me last night. When? I went out for, I went out for some air last night. <laughs> here's, here's what we wanted. Yep. Oh, my God. I can't believe she did that to you. And I had some fucked up dreams. I'm sorry. Hey, uh, what's Walter's deal? What do you mean, his deal? <laughs> he came at me like a linebacker. <laughs> It's not what he says, it's how he says it, you know? Okay. Don't talk to your dad. Not it's fine, cool. it's fine, it's not a big deal. Oh boy. So at least finally, we finally finally get that to where like you experience something really weird, you do it at oh, least to your weird. significant other and be like, oh, wow. talk it out. I guess when they say the party starts at a certain time, they all come up at the same time. Yeah. I know that always That's happens strange. for me for a party. Yeah, they all Everybody stop. shows up at exactly the right time. In a convoy too. Yeah, well, they stopped at the Lincoln dealership on the way there. Uh, to your point, though, Dave, how many times have we said in a movie where a character just doesn't explain what happened to him and it was something really weird? I'm glad they finally did that. Mm -hmm. Chris, this is Gordon and Emily Green. Chris, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Chris. This is Nielsen and Elisa. Hey, how you doing? How handsome is he? I'm, are you handsome? <laughs> Wait a minute. Paris skin has been in favor for the past quarter, but now the pendulum is swung back. Black is in fashion. These guys are really, <laughs> really hung up on certain topics. I'm trying to watch like all the mannerisms and everything. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Come, on, Come on over, on. super. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see him. I didn't see him. Didn't happen. <laughs> Good to see another brother around here. Another hey. guy. It's, it's the guy we saw in the, from the beginning. beginning. He's shaved, though. Yeah. There you are. <laughs> oh, where are my manners? Logan. Logan King. Chris was just telling me how he felt much more comfortable with my being here. <laughs> you know, I, I wish I could remember now if they showed the tattoo in the beginning. Do you guys remember? I, I don't remember. The wind cuts were asking about you. He's talking. He went to fist bump and did the old handshake. This is really odd. Yes. <laughs> this guy. Yes. Dodgeball. Is he there for a stapler? I think a stapler is there. Ignorant. Oh. Uh, Office space. Yep. Is he blind? Jim Hudson. He's got a stick. I think so. Chris. I know who you are. I am an admirer of your work. You have a great eye. Wait. Believe me, the irony of being a blind art dealer isn't lost on me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My assistant describes the work to me in great detail. I submitted to Net Geo 14 times before realizing I didn't have the eye. Life can be a sick joke. One day you're developing prints in the dark room, the next day you wake up in the dark. God, Steven is so good. He can play such an array of characters. He man. does great in Barry, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, okay. Everybody just stops. 
Oh, they unplugged his phone. All right, Chris. Time to get out. Yeah. Exactly. Run. That baby is dead. Yeah. What, is it? what are those on the wall? What the fuck? You left me out there. Look at this. She unplugged my phone. Who? Georgina. I came here to talk to Rod and I got no juice. Don't do that. Don't. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. It's all good. Right? They do play off the early relationship well because it's both, you know, the whole, it's okay. It's, yeah. It, 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 blow it over. <laughs> Four years in. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Come and get me out of here. Black person that doesn't work for me. I got hypnotized last night. Nigga, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yo, 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 yeah, yeah, to quit smoking. But it's Rose's mom's a psychiatrist, so. Bruh, I don't care if the bitches are Yana Von Zant, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool because, bruh, how you're not scared of this, man? I don't know if you know this. White people love making people sex slaves and shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure they're not a kinky sex family dog. Thanks, Rod. Bye. Hello. Uh, but... oh, <laughs> <geez. laughs> I owe you an apology. How rude of me to have touched your belongings without asking. Oh, no, it's cool. I was just confused. How foolish of me. Her eyes, you see? The way she's working her eyes right now yeah. is great. I don't answer to anyone. If there's too many white people, I get nervous, you know? What is going on? Oh, she was going to say something. Come on, say it. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. That's not my experience. Not at all. The Armitages are so good to us. That's why you're crying. Uh, I'm grabbing the keys to the nearest vehicle. I'm getting the hell out of there. Yeah. I'm just leaving. That was kind of a fast. Dude, everything this chick is doing is great. <clears throat> well, there's that. The story that she was trying to tell with her eyes. Yeah. That was cool. <clears throat> they were asking me about the African-American experience. Maybe you could take this one. I find that the African-American experience for me has been, for the most part, very good. I've just had no Dude, there's interest. something's going on. The chores have become my sanctuary. Whoa, look that at triggered eyes. something. Oh, see his eyes? Yeah, that did. Oh, look at his nose. That did something. Get out. Get out! Yo! Yo! Ah! Yo, you it? He's talking different too. Did you notice? Yeah. His voice is totally different. He, like he was actually telling him to run. Yeah. Seizures create anxiety, which can trigger aggression. It's much better. I imagine that I owe you all an apology. Very happy that you're yourself again. I know that I must have frightened you all quite a bit, especially you, Chris. I'm sorry. And you shouldn't have been drinking either. What is going on? I'll have to let you all get on the rest of the night without the aid of my marvelous wit. It was nice meeting you, Chris. Let's get this uh, party back on track. How about sparklers and bingo? <laughs> oh, sparklers. You sure? My cousin's epileptic. That wasn't a seizure, right? I mean, this is going to sound weird, but when he came at me, it felt like I knew him. Not Logan before? No, I don't know Logan. I knew the guy to come at me. hell is going on well they're playing the bingo but they, they all won they all won though silent bingo. i don't like the look she's giving him either though it kind of reminds me of her mom what Whoa. the hell dude they're auctioning him off that's what they're doing no that's why they're all holding up their cards ten something Oh, Chris, got to get out of there. Got to get out of there. Well, either way, it's... To him? Oh, he he bought him, apparently. He's... Oh, it's so... almost nighttime. Oh, uh, you oh, you oh, blew oh. your chance to get out of there. How long have they been sitting there? <laughs> well, I didn't call 911, then go out looking for her. One hour went by, and then two, and I just sat there. I was just watching TV. Dude, he has no clue what he's walking into now. No. She had survived the initial hit. She lay there bleeding by the side of the road. 
That's how she died in the early morning, cold and alone. Oh my god. I'm not gonna leave you without you. I'm not gonna abandon you again. Oh shit. Do you think she's in on it? Yeah, that's what I was saying. I didn't I didn't trust her. The way she was sitting there looking at him before when they were sitting together. I did the brother just clicked in my head how he was sitting in the background there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. This sucks. Let's go home. I'll make something up. Okay, maybe she's not in. Well, I, I, do, I, I didn't know. like the way she was looking at him before, though. It was the same way her mom was looking. God, this is confusing. Jesus. Oh, they it's were gone dark. Look at them. Yeah, dude. This is no good. Oh, that's Drake. Andre Hayward, Teresa's sister that work at the movie theater on 8th. Oh, he knew him. Oh, he's different. No shit. He came to the party with a white woman like 30 years old now. Sex slave! <laughs> oh, shit. Chris, you gotta get the fuck up out of there, man. You want some high-wise <laughs> yes. shit? Yes, <laughs> go! Chris, oh, oh, shit. His battery must have fucking died. See, this is why you tell at least one person where you're going all the time. Rosie, we gotta go. We gotta go now. Okay, let me go get my bag. Okay. Wait, where's your bag? Why wouldn't her bag be in the room they slept in? Yeah. Dude, where's her bag? And where does that little creepy ass door go? Right, and it's not like she has. Oh, I'm gonna sleep in the guest room with my boyfriend when I could be in my bed. Take us to her bedroom. Take him to her bedroom. Oh, something's gonna happen behind him, isn't it? Oh, remember she told him that he was the first he was black. the first black guy she's been with. Black boyfriend, yeah. Hey, I knew she was in on it. Is that the groundskeeper? I think it is. Holy crap! It is, and that's her. Oh. She's been bringing him there the whole friggin' time. Get the She's hell the out bait. of there, Chris. Get out of there, dude. Uh, no pun intended, but get out. <laughs> hey, are you ready? Oh, uh, yep, just... not with you. It'll take me a second. You can't find those keys. Yeah. No. Chris, go. Let's do something. There you go. Just don't stop. Yeah. I, I would just grab but a bag. He, he, was, he, was, a he, bag. Was, he was trying to get away from her, though. Yo, man. Where are you going? The party's just getting started. Is something wrong? Rose? His dog got really sick, so he has to be at the vet first thing in the morning. Oh, yeah. Rose? Oh, boy, here we go. Oh, they're circling him. Yeah. Come on, I was really starting to like him. What is your purpose in life? What is your purpose? What's yours, douchebag? <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> We are the gods trapped in cocoons. No key. Rose, no! No! Jeez! Oh, oh. Jeez. Oh. Time to judo some ass here. Yeah. You know I can't give you the keys, right, babe? I knew it! Oh, she was in on it. Well, the pictures were obvious, but... How is he going to get out of this? I would dive right through the window if you can't get through a door. He's going to have to throw a lamp at that dude. Oh no! Oh. Just knocks oh. him out. It just keeps getting farther away. So oh, is that kind shit. of is that kind of her plan? Is like every three, four months, bring him to the parents, and that's how they get yeah, everybody. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Okay, so he's got to play a role in finding him somehow. Unless he snaps out of it and starts beating some ass, I don't think he's getting. I mean, out that of would there. be a terrible ending. Okay, so he's going to try to figure something out because they're not going to keep showing us him calling and yeah. not do nothing. Yeah. <clears throat> a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Yep, there you go. Jazz musician missing. Yep. Well, that's a interesting room with lights. Yeah. 
Is that the basement that was full of mold? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Because they did show us uh, him going down. Yeah. yeah. Yep. He's like, ah, oh, there's a basement, just yeah. nothing but mold. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at that old TV in front of him. Yeah. wonder if they did that purposely oh, to him. I'm sure they did. Oh, good call. It's, it's oh, probably... Geez. Yeah, it's probably something for everybody. Hi, I'm Roman Armitage. And if you're watching this, you're probably wondering what's going on. Wow, they have like a how-to. Oh, this is you. You oh, have my been God. chosen because of the physical advantages you've enjoyed your entire lifetime. With your natural gifts and our determination, we could both be part of something greater, something perfect. The coagula procedure. My family and I are honored to offer it as a service to members of our group. Maybe that's one the, that's day the grand family. Yeah, 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 whole family is his dad. That's the same picture they had. Oh, dad and, the, and then the kids. Yeah. And that's the house. Yeah, they yeah. showed us that picture. What's even creepier is someone recorded that and like edited it for them and stuff, and yeah. it's okay. But I suppose well, I think people that, were there willing yeah. to buy stuff, so yeah. Well, but, I mean, I, I think that video was for everybody. Oh, the damn cup! <laughs> oh, so this is how they get them every time. Yeah, uh, that's the sound. Right waves. Mm. Well, TSA? Yes, ma'am. But but this is not TSA business. Okay, don't call me ma'am. My boy Chris has been missing for two days. Your son is missing. Oh, no, 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 no. Not, not, not my son. My friend, he's 26. His name is uh, Chris, Chris Washington. <laughs> <laughs> he left on Friday with his girlfriend, uh, Rose Armitage. So Chris sent this to me from his girl's friend's parents' house. See, that's oh, Andre Hayward. A picture of Andre, yeah. Okay, somebody we knew from back in the day. Apparently, he's been missing for six months in some affluent suburb. This dude is from Brooklyn. Huh? He didn't dress like this. Plus, he's married to a white woman twice his age. Look, what I'm about to tell you is going to sound crazy. I believe they've been abducting black people, brainwashing them, making them work for them as sex slaves and shit. Oh, sorry about the shit. Hold on a second. Then he sent me some weird pitch, and I'm like, oh, man, that's Andre Hayesworth. And I start putting pieces together. And see, this is what I came up with. They're probably abducting black people, brainwashing them, and making them the sex slaves and shit. What's the next move? <laughs> <laughs> All white girls. Oh, they get you every time. Hello? It's, it's me, Rod. Where's Chris? He left two days ago. He got all paranoid hey, and then he freaked out on me. Yeah, you haven't seen him? Oh, he never came back here. Oh, my God. So she's, dead. she's setting it up on the phone. Ma matter of fact, I went to the police. What did you say? I just said he was missing. <laughs> oh, good. You uh, what cab company did he uh, did he use to leave? A local one, or I guess he he could have called an Uber. So confused. Um, you know something? Me too. Oh, could you hold on one second? Ooh, that TSA shit tingles. <laughs> this motherfucker's life. <laughs> oh man. So last time I talked to Chris, he told me your mama hypnotized him. I know why you're calling. It's kind of obvious, don't you think, that there's something between us? Oh, she knows. Yep. God. She's going to play it off. I know you think about fucking me, Rod. You ass. Fuck you. I didn't want to fuck you. Bye. Fucking Jesus. Ah, she's a genius. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little Ray. God, he's awesome. Don't look at the TV. Turn away. How's it going, buddy? Where's, where's Rose? Oh, you dirty dog. Phase one was the... Hypnotism, that's how they sedate you. Phase two is is this, mental preparation. It's basically a psychological pre-op. For phase three, the transplantation. Dude, they're going to switch bodies. That's why that dude was well, acting well, all weird. Partial. So you won't be gone. Not completely. A sliver of you will still be in there. Just like yeah, Just Andre. like with the camera with just Andre. Like Andre. Your existence will be as a passenger. You'll live in a certain place. Holy shit! Wow. I'll control the motor function, so I'll be... Me. You got it quick. Good on you? Oh, I yes. Huh. Some people want to be stronger, faster, cooler. What I want is deeper. Your eye, man. 
I want those things you see through. Dude. Oh, oh. God damn. That was a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, just soak that all but, in. But I mean, it, it all makes sense now. Oh, what's he going to find? Is he digging for something? How the hell is he going to get out of this? You think maybe there's like a spring in there or something? He was. Don't look at the TV. Oh, is it go? Does it go by sound or? No, no, no. Ah, yeah, just it knocks him out. Sound, yeah. No, no. Oh, it's yeah. there. Yeah, they do it right there, and he's a neurosurgeon. Oh my god, I got. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. I mean, they, they just can do like a brain swap here, or what are we? What are we oh, doing? No, just they have to connect to the nervous system. Yeah, so yeah it's the brain. Except for one little part of it, they yeah. have to keep. So that way, he's still still a he's the, yeah around and stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's oh my uh, god. <laughs> oh. Maybe he's faking. The way he was digging in the chair, I thought he found something. Come on, Chris, wake up. Oh, oh yes. Take that, dude. Oh, look at that. Look at that bleeding on her. Oh. oh. But as long as... Oh, that's what he got. Oh, was doing it with. Yes. Nice. Uh, yeah, but I, hey, I, I honestly had to keep it in. One more to go. Oh, oh, nice. Antlers. He gone. Oh, all oh, right out the freaking back. No, it's right up the throat. Right up the well, throat, yeah, back yeah. of the throat is yeah. what I was saying. Okay, just two left to go. Oh, man, Chris, start breaking all the glasses. Or just get out of there. Just do something, man. Break it. First break it. Yep. There you go. Nice. There you go. Oh, oh right through his hand. Chris? Oh! oh! Right in the eye, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna use my hand. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, he didn't have it cinched in there. Oh, he did have the Nice! Knife. He did have it. Now take him out this time. Oh. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Oh, she's no, she kind has. of psycho. <laughs> she can't hear shit. She's listening to dirty dancing music. Oh, look at the pictures all yep. in the back. All of them there. Yeah, that must be her. That's her, her actual room, room yeah. or something. My name's Chris. I'm sorry, sir. Can you repeat that? Oh! oh. Yeah, the reason why I was saying just leave her, because it's not really her anymore. Yeah. You don't I mean, know. there's you don't that know sliver. Who it is. Well, there's that sliver, yeah. so I guess... Uh oh. Grandma. Grandma? That's who that was. That's that's the grandma. And I'll bet you the old man was uh the dude that was, was running. The was the groundskeeper. <laughs> oh, she ain't yep. she ain't good. Grandpa. Get him yep. I knew it. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna hit him with the flash. Look at oh, okay. So yep. there is something that goes yep. on with the eyes when yep. you do the that. Flash works. Let me do it. Is she gonna believe it though? She has to know the symptoms. Oh! Oh, oh he's gonna do oh. himself. Oh wow! Wow, dude, how the hell is Chris gonna get out of this? There's a there's a house with like six bodies in it. Great. Don't fall for it. Love you. You're it's wasting time, here. man. You're wasting time. Months. Oh. Oh wow, he's doing it. No, oh, look at her. Don't don't succumb to it. Is there somebody behind him? Is that why she's smiling? Oh no. Oh, how's he gonna explain this? That just keeps coming. Yep, see? Oh, oh. Oh, wait, it's an airport! Oh, yes! Shit! Oh, he made it! No, please. Finish her. Like, drive. Yeah, drive. Go. Get out of there. Go. I mean, I told you not to go in that house. 
Drive. How you find me? Good question. Pinged his phone. I'm T.S. <laughs> motherfucking A. <laughs> now drive. That's what we do. Consider this situation. Drive. It's. <laughs> <laughs> Can we please get out of here? <laughs> I know. Did she officially perish? Okay, there she well, is. Well, I mean, she ain't gonna make it long. Yeah, she, she there's, there's, move. Hey, yeah. you know how these things work. I you, know. Yeah, no I loose know. ends on this no kind loose, of stuff. No half measures. <laughs> oh, go, there's dude. this. Okay, she's done. There it is. Okay, that was the last. That was the, that was the finishing shot there. And you all know that too. So oh, don't, uh, yeah, we all know. You say the same thing. Yeah, they always come back. If the Walking Dead's taught us anything. Uh -huh. <laughs> I did. Oh, not, oh, is that it? I did not think Chris was going to make it. I really didn't. Wow. So the one question I have then is. Well, there what it was. Above, yeah. Well, no. What yeah. if uh, someone? What, yeah. What if he also has a girlfriend or a friend? He's at, so they, he's at a party. So yeah. Stirs. Yeah. All yeah. Done. Well, first Gosh. off, there it was. Lots of questions I, I, yet still to ask. <laughs> Man, I mean, I first off, I think this is better. This was better than us. I'll, I'll say yes. that right off the bat. This was incredible. Oh, man, I can tell that. Man, you can just tell Jordan Peele is a, just a huge fan of, like, that that type of like suspense horror kind of twilight zone like where he really likes to use music and and camera angles and you know everything has a purpose everything has a purpose we said that earlier with all the shots and they're doing the walk through of the house i just wonder now because we said this about us i wonder if we go back and watch it now will it be like Obvious as can oh, yeah. be, what what's yeah, going on? See certain things, that you know, really tip us um, off. You know, because it was it was weird the way <laughs> it was weird the way like Rose. <laughs> can we get You're it good. together? You're good. Here? Keep going. <laughs> Jesus, I'm trying to be a professional. We'll get the. I'll get the logos in. You. Oh. Yeah, there we go. He's anyhow, anyhow, um, I thought it was really weird the way that Rose was kind of really push pushing the issue on some things. Um, but then you kind of forgot about it and you moved on because Chris would see some other weird stuff. And it's like, he never really had a chance to like focus on one thing that was going on. And of course, what do you do? You're in that situation where you're in this house. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere, so to speak. Like you said, the only neighbors were across the, uh, the lake. So he feels a little bit trapped and he's kind of trying to play it cool because I mean, honestly, I'm sure the last thing he's thinking is, oh yeah, it's a bunch of crazy people and they just switch bodies and, yeah. and that's what's going to happen. So that's like the last thing on your mind. But, you know, he put it together towards the end there. Guys, I honestly did not think Chris was going to make it. I thought the last. I thought he was done. I thought the last shot. Good job with that. Yeah. I thought the last shot we were going to see was like of him like opening up his eyes and being uh, Stephen Root. Like, oh, nice. like I, I thought they'd do like a future shot of him like walking around an art gallery as like a big shot, checking out all the art, and that'd be the last we ever see of Chris. That's how I thought it was going to go. I'm really happy <laughs> and really pleased that it didn't. Um, the good guys actually survive a horror movie for once, and man, his boy came through for him in the end, found him. Lil Rel. TSA made ah. it happen, I guess. But just a fantastic movie. The, the use of the music, the camera angles, uh, a relatively original story, right? We've seen kind of body switching things yep. a little bit here and there, but you know, overall, a very original story and uh, definitely the the best one of the two that i've seen so far between this and us this definitely gets the high marks for me oh, man, no is, uh, you just yeah. say it i'll just say it i'll get the the well, graphics just, okay it was the same as this i was gonna <laughs> yeah. give it to you but uh no for me i gotta give get out uh 4.75 oh. out of five answers it was so damn good i really enjoyed it um i can't wait for what's next from jordan peele this was outstanding so guys this was just awesome. The acting was great, but like now that I'm thinking about it, you see the little things like, remember she was so hesitant to let the ID go to the cop? Yeah, yeah. which totally makes sense so because then oh, he, so good here, call. Here there would have been a track thinking, record. Thinking, oh, she's yeah. being good. Well, now it clicks at the end. Yeah. Well, they don't want a paper trail. Yeah, no, because well, like, like I said, it was in the report because oh, had to oh. good because she was so over the top about it. Like she was making a big scene. And it's like they do check your yes, IDs yeah. when you've had an accident. That is normal, yeah. you know? And then uh, <laughs> then the other part that I vaguely remember was like, remember when the 
oh, we're checking him out. Yeah, in yeah. Athletic. She kind of gave him a look like to the the old, old guy. guy. With she, the, no, well, no, but but um, Rose kind of gave them a look like this to him. Like she kind of gave him a weird look. Like, what are you guys? Yeah, doing? stop making it so, so obvious. Here, I was thinking it was just because. Oh, it, it would be awkward if just yeah. these random old work friends of my father's started grabbing on my boyfriend's arms. Yeah. So now it kind of. It, but yeah, like you said. It deserves a rewatch just so you can find these little things. Yeah. And I mean, like what I found the creepiest about her was still the eating a Fruit Loop, having half of it, <laughs> drinking the milk through yeah. a straw. Like that, just, just the way she crazy. was. I don't care who. Yeah, you who are. does that? Yeah. Fruit that is crazy. Yeah, the way she was sitting in the bed there like that was. Ugh. And just, but yeah, it was. I thought top notch. I mean, I loved us. I, definitely worth a rewatch, but this I think was better. You can see how he was able to make us because this was such a yeah, they, amazing. Yep. So I am going with five answers. A perfect score. I'm giving it. Nice. It's just it. It's just a perfect horror that it's like you see him trying to work it out and try and analyze it. They have a great way of being able to take him under that it's so complex yet so simple. Mm -hmm. Just clang clang. And just that, that little trigger. Boom. And yeah. you know, he managed to figure out when he was trying to get out the cotton in the ears. Fucking perfect. <laughs> I thought it was amazing. Outstanding. You know, you guys brought up a lot of great points with a lot of that little stuff that they were doing in this movie. It's definitely worth a, a rewatch because they helped the audience out us in this <laughs> yeah. a little bit with kind of like the quick shots right because we you, we were all saying like, oh did you see that quick yeah, right the way they were looking at it. but like the little stuff that was kind of blatantly in your face but you made without knowing what was yeah, going on really you you kind of passed it off to like oh she mean she meant it this way yeah but really she was meaning like Come on, what well, are you and doing? I, yeah, yeah. And I think they they kind of took us off balance right away because they made that a big deal right off the rip it's, with saying, oh, this is my first black boyfriend that yeah, I've had. I'm taking to meet my parents, and I didn't tell him yes, you were black. They, they the set that up so that was it, so that that was in, in your mind when she was doing what she's doing with the cop yeah, and the people yeah. were acting the way they were. So, God, Jordan Peele's a genius the way he put that in our heads. Jordan was so, great. No, you're good. Jordan was great. Yeah. Uh, it was so this, this story that Jordan put together... And and his team it was phenomenal. Uh, I was, of course, one of my, I'm barely right ever when I'm guessing, but uh, I was guessing Rose was not going to make it because they, they kept putting her on like, uh, I hate saying pedestal because I'm not thinking of the right words, but th they kept giving her more shine yep. uh, for like, oh, she's such a great girlfriend that I thought for sure something bad yeah. was going to happen to her accidentally. And then bad things were going to happen to Chris. Last thing I would have ever thought, and wouldn't have even thought, that it was some kind of brain transfer <laughs> of taking over another body, which was just amazing. And then the slow reveals, like when we saw well, the jazz player, what was his name in this? Uh, oh, Andre. Andre. Yeah. Andre Haysworth. Yeah. Yeah. So when we saw him reappear. And it was, yeah, it was tough because he was clean shaven and we only saw him in the dark in the beginning. And, and then the 180, right? Yeah. So he was like super... I don't, his, he looked like a dude from 1920s lady yes. dressed like with the, the hat the and stuff. It was just crazy the way his yeah. uh, demeanor and his delivery has changed. Well, and it makes sense because he had a different... Because it, it all made sense because he had a whole... Man, or a 70 year old man or something. Yeah, and then the flash. That whole thing with the flash no, and how safe. it makes you go back to that little sliver like uh, he was saying in there. There's a little sliver you that yeah. kind of remains. Uh, and then just goes right back to it and then at the end there when uh the the i keep calling him the linebacker because he was the, grounds, yeah. the, well, the, the, the groundskeeper grandfather, the, the grandfather essentially yeah, yeah. yeah. uh when he that was a great reveal you know grandma grandpa get him grandpa yeah. this whole movie is just a mind trip uh yeah. and the way he took himself out when he was back to his normal self made a, a lot of sense because he to me, it made sense because he didn't want to go through that. Yeah, he's like he because he had that guy essentially inside his brain, and he probably lived that way for how many years? Yeah, you know? oh, just uh, just a mind trip. I'm yeah. still kind of going over it in my head as I'm talking. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, for my rating on this movie, I'm going to give it a four point two, which is still pretty good. Uh, I want to go back. I'm probably going to end up changing that score later, uh, <laughs> because yeah, after I do a rewatch, because I'm definitely going to try to rewatch uh, this. Note. <laughs> there's yeah, there just a lot of little things yep. I feel like I missed that you guys kind of said, and now that it's kind of you know going back in my head, I'm like, oh yeah, that makes tons yeah. more sense now. 
So um, I just can't remember a time when I saw a movie when the writers, well, the writer and the director, writer. Jordan Peele, essentially pulled such a swerve on the audience where he purposely like set you off in one direction, put stuff in your head, put things in the movie to get you going this way so that you're missing everything going on over here. And you don't see that until he brings you back. It was it was so well written and well done, directed everything. Just, he, you know, I haven't felt like tricked in a movie <laughs> in a long time. And, and that's what he did. It was brilliant. It, and all the little things, uh, the actress that was grandma, I, I don't know if it made the cut or not, but I was kept saying to you, I'm like, just the story she's telling with her yep, eyes. Yep. She, they went big, small, yeah, uh, her, wide. Her face, everything everything that she did with acting with her face was awesome. So she did a fantastic job as well. <clears throat> And like, I'm wondering if when the whole, when they sent her in there for unplugging the phone, if she was still like, it was her old, the body trying to fight with her. And like, if she really wanted anything ever to do with it, the grandma. Yeah. Cause it, cause where she's going, no, no, no. And like, is crying. It seems like she's seeing too many happen already. Yeah. That, that's how I felt about I th that. Thinking see, about I, that. It, it, I think it was either that yes, or she was. You mentioned that with the eyes of that. She yeah. was like, oh, no, no, no. And crying. Mm -hmm. I thought that was maybe her like. Wanting to say something, yeah, but then she got happy the inner at self, the end. her inner self, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm wondering if she was just so happy, like, oh, we got another one, you yeah. know. So, but I think you might be onto something there where that inner self was trying to break. Just, there was that inner battle with her, yeah, but then gr grandma took over. Mm -hmm. But oh, wow, what a trip this was, yeah, and a very Boy, fun one. And Chris really put up with a lot of crap before he finally <laughs> decided to leave, man. Like, oh, after good. that first party, I'd have been like, yeah, this this isn't just for uh, working as soon as they me. hit the deer out of it. It's a sign, honey. It's a sign. Let's just well, and, Let's go. Actually, and so with the uh you, I think one of you guys said it with the cotton, that was genius by Chris. Uh, yeah. cuz I was asking like, "Oh, is it just a visual or hearing?" and then clearly it's, it's the whole it's hearing all, thing, yeah, not so yeah. much visual. Yep. So and that uh, was so now, just now wild. The sequel will be 20 years from now. He's at a house party. Ting, ting. <laughs> he'll, be at a, he'll be at a wedding like every five <laughs> minutes done. <laughs> All right. Oh, so geez. for kissing at the wedding, no clanging. <laughs> and it's just wild too, uh, real quick with uh, Jordan Peele and how great him and Key were with their comedy. Yeah. Just to have this whole other uh, side of his, like... Yeah. This is just well, great. I mean, you and I had a lot of it incorporated, which is awesome. Yeah, yeah. no, it's Rell. great. Little Rel was awesome. Yeah, ass, by the way. And you and I have talked about it before, Dave. Where the number of people who come from the world of comedy, how they're able to so easily and so well transfer into drama. You know, you think about guys like like your Bob Odenkirks or like your Robin Williams uh, on some of the later works he did, where he was really Happy serious clone, and, and dramatic. You know, it's really amazing when people then they can make that transition as, as well as they do. Mm -hmm. Well, so there, we all loved it. We hope you loved it. So for Diamond Dave Mason Quinn, I am, of course, the answer. Good night, pals. <laughs> <laughs>